Hey guys, time for another quick video featuring five more Hall of Famers. <clears throat> we'll start out first with Mr. Rod Carew. Lifetime 81.2 war. Ranks him 62nd all time ahead of players like Pete Rose, Joe DiMaggio, and Brooks Robinson. He was born in the Panama Canal Zone, so he was a Panamanian. 1967 Rookie of the Year. 1977 MVP, 18-time All-Star, 7-time batting title, 3,053 hits with a lifetime 328 batting average. He was named uh, after the doctor who delivered him, which was Dr. Rodney Klein. Uh, he was on a segregated train where white people had to sit in uh, front cars and... Uh, People of color had to sit in the other, the rear, rearward cars, and his mother went into labor on this train. And I guess they got this Dr. Rodney Klein to deliver him on that train. And his mother thought so much of it that she named her son Rodney. He batted 300 <clears throat> for the season in 15 straight years. Uh, in 1985, which was his last year to play after that season he did not get an offer to renew his contract from the angels nor did he get a contract offer from any other team so uh they were suspecting that there was some collusion going on here that all the teams had conspired together in order not to sign him and in 1995, he was awarded $782,000 for this collusion. Mr. Rod, Kader, Rod Carew. <clears throat> Next, Atlanta Braves great Chipper Jones. Lifetime 85.3 war. Ahead of players like Ken Griffey Jr., and Rod Carew. He was the MVP of 1999, eight-time All-Star, 1995 World Series, two-time Silver Slugger, 2,726 hits, 2,008 batting title, lifetime 303 batting average, 468 home runs. He was the first overall pick in the 1990 draft. The Braves made it clear that they wanted to draft Todd Van Poppel with the first overall pick, but uh, Todd Van Poppel said he would not sign with the Braves. So they settled for Chipper Jones. Uh, it worked out pretty good. Uh, he had a, of course, in, in their division, they played the uh, Mets quite a bit. And uh, he used to kind of have fun antagonizing them quite a bit. After the 1999 National League Championship Series, he said that all the Mets fans can now go home and put their Yankees gear on. So uh, he dominated the Mets so much that he named his son Shay. <laughs> the ultimate dig. Uh, he would rake in Shea Stadium. So uh, named his son Shay. Chipper Jones. Next, old lefty, Steve Carlton. Lifetime 90.2 war, which ranks him 45th all time, ahead of pitchers like Bob Gibson, Fergie Jenkins, and Pedro Martinez. Four time Cy Young, 10 time All Star, two time World Series, won a gold glove. Pitching Triple Crown, an ER title, 329 wins, lifetime 322 ERA, 4,136 strikeouts. He also holds the record for box uh, at 90, which is like double the amount of the next guys. High school teammates with Kurt Bavacqua, or Bavacqua, uh, he was known for his media silence. Uh, he would not talk to the media. He struggled uh, in 1973, and uh, he would not speak to him. 
<clears throat> for the rest of his time in Philly. Uh, he just was bound and determined not to speak to the media, and never did. Uh, during Fernando Mania <clears throat> in 1981, Fernando Valenzuela, that is, uh, one of the L.A. Dodgers pitchers said the two best pitchers uh, in the league won't speak English. And that was uh, Steve Carlton and Fernando Valenzuela. On September 13th, 1982, for the fourth time in his career, he pitched a complete game shutout and hit a home run in that game. He recorded his uh, 4,000th strikeout against Eric Davis. Also picked off 144 runners on the base pass. His longtime catcher, Tim McCarver, said that when him and Steve Carlton died, they are going to be buried in the same graveyard, 60 foot, 6 inches apart. Steve Carlton. Next, another great pitcher, Jim Palmer. <clears throat> Nicknamed Cakes for... Uh, them joking him about always eating pancakes on mornings that he started. Uh, has a lifetime 68.5 war. Uh, which uh, puts him ahead of pitchers like Don Drysdale, Don Sutton, Louis Tiant. Three-time Cy Young, three-time World Series winner, two-time ERA leader, four gold gloves, six all-stars. 268 wins, 2,212 strikeouts, never allowed a grand slam. Pitched a complete game shutout in the World Series before he turned 21 years old. Won a World Series game in three different decades, in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Cakes, Jim Palmer. Last but not least, Willie Stargell, nicknamed Pops. Lifetime 57.5 war, ranks him ahead of players like Louis Aparicio, David Ortiz, Hank Greenberg. 1979 MVP, 2,232 hits, 475 home runs. Lifetime 282, batting average, two World Series, 423 doubles, seven-time All-Star, World Series MVP, and the NLCS MVP. He hit the most home runs of any player in the 70s with 296. High school teammates with Tommy Hopper, Harper and Kurt Motten. Uh, one time when he was uh, playing for a farm team, he was threatened with a gun if he played in the night game, but he played anyway, and nothing came of it. Of the 18 balls that were hit out of Forbes Field over their 86-foot-tall right field stands, he hit seven of them. He would stand in the warm-up uh, circle for batters, and take his warm-up pitches with a sledgehammer. Joe Morgan said he, when he played, there were 600 players. And all 599 of them loved Willie Stargell. And he couldn't say that about any other player. Pops, Willie Stargell. Thanks, guys.